Are there ideas that you have that you feel like you can only satisfy one way? Like you sort of go, this is a music idea. I can't paint this. I can't, mm. I can't, uh, poetry, I can't act this. This is, this has got to come out musically. Or do you even think in those terms? I don't. I mean, I could try to see where that takes me. I'm not against that. It's another challenge. I think generally, you, you know, that we are drawn to art or to making art in whatever its form uh, as a way of avoiding discomfort, <laughs> you know. And that can be, you know, just the minor irritations of everyday life or, you know, um, you know, the, the anguish of, of, of suffering and death, you know, the, the most primordial fears that you have. Well, what about you? What uh, is the even, discomfort even, that even you... When, even when you're telling a story that's about death and involves violence or suffering or pain or sorrow, it's still a story. It's still... An escape? Yeah, it is an escape from the truth, you know. I think, uh, I don't know what the philosopher, made, it was probably Nietzsche, that said... Uh, that art is a way of avoiding the truth. We make uh, art to avoid the truth. And what are you trying to avoid? Even if I'm trying to tell the truth, what are you trying to avoid? Yeah, all that, you know. I'm going to die, you know, uh, just like everybody else. And it's I've always found that irritating, you know what I mean? And and stimulating. I mean, as a kid, as one of my earliest memories is realizing, you know, once I got the hang of it, knowing that you know dogs die and people die and the first contact with that means that's something you have to learn. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't, you're not born knowing you're going to die and humans are unique in that way. It seems that they, they know once they know, they never forget it. Yeah. No matter how much they try to escape from it and avoid it. And I think making art is, it's not only about <laughs> trying to escape death, but it's even telling movies that are maybe entirely about death. You're still distracting yourself. Wow. You know, and that's... How the, do you feel about getting older? Uh, I'm Does not, that freak you out? No, not so much. I mean, I don't... I have to be reminded that I am sometimes, and then it's, then it's kind of shocking. More... It takes me longer each morning. You know, when I was a little kid, I used to... The first thing I would think when I woke up was, I'm going to die. That sucks. You know? I mean, not in the sense of being afraid of it, just being irritated. That it didn't seem fair, like whose idea was this, you know? There's a lot of things to do today. That's the first thing you would think as a kid when I, you woke up? I did. Every day? Yeah. I wow. still do. I still do. The difference now is it takes me, lately it takes me a little longer to get my engine running, you know? So that you can think about dying. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I wake up and I find it irritating and, I, and I'm sort right. of grumpy about it, so I need to sort of get busy.